let's start with um, the earth and ecosystems, because this is where we must begin all our conversations. We are in a dual crisis, a climate and a nature crisis. As the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres put it so well, this is code red for humanity. In ecology, there exists the concept of the sliding baseline. It's actually quite a tragic term coined by the oceanographer Callum Roberts. Every generation takes their current ecological circumstances as their reality. They don't know how to inquire about the fish and the birds and the butterflies and the flowers because, you know, they were, they were there, but now they're lost. Each generation inherits a more degraded version of nature, and this speeds up, and eventually we're left with nothing. The fashion and textile industry is an ecosystem as well, and has been degraded until we can't remember what we lost. Occasionally, we get glimpses. We remember that this could and should be an ecosystem of producers, designers, manufacturers, working within the limits of nature. We are reminded that human livelihoods and social sustainability are as important as technical plans to decarbonize. But most of the time, we just accept a degraded and degrading system as a reality. We have long argued that people who buy fashion, and I refuse to call them consumers because it's really reductive, should have more information and be more strongly connected to the garments they buy. And so labeling is part of preventing that sliding to complacency. Done right, it could be much more. Through regenerative agriculture, through better science about the production of natural fibers, we should be able to reflect this ambition through the labels. We can make the label count, but only if we base the underpinning methodology on science, on real fact-based evidence. Unfortunately, we are in danger of doing exactly the opposite. To build that label on a base of misinformation and skewed science at this point would be unforgivable. It could potentially unleash billions more items made of non-biodegradable petrochemical plastic polymers onto a patchy global waste system that is unable or ready to cope. And it goes further than that. This decision scale, they affect where investment goes, for example. The ESG funds so badly needed to help tackle the climate crisis could end up underpinning more pollution. This decision also have a bearing on millions of lives in the cotton fields on the global south, for example. So we must correct course, and we must do it now. We have seen poor, incomplete, and skewed science promising the world solution before. We all remember the distorted information used in the autom automotive emission scandal and in the case of green biofuels. These are not just, you know, ugly chapters. They double the workload elsewhere, and it can take a generation to get back on course. We don't have time. If we make a mistake on labels today, we lose our moral authority to combat all other types of greenwash. And there is an epidemic of greenwash in our industry. Overclaims on sustainability will damage all of us because we all simply fail to deliver on cuts we need to ensure a livable planet. This is the time to be authentic and to follow the science. To keep 1.5 alive or anywhere close, we must not just drastically cut emissions. We must regenerate soils and oceans and forests and help them function as carbon sinks. We must restore our ecosystem to health so that they can function. This is what science tells us. And we don't negotiate with science. We don't distort the science. We just use it to form our pathway. This is what echoes also the growth in youth climate right now. The, the youth leaders are telling us that when it comes to global carbon emission reduction, and we need to hear them in this industry as well, making the label count is a much wider issue than jostling for consumer attention or trying to latch on to an enthusiasm for sustainable fashion. It is about linking this garment to the science and protocols that will deliver us a livable planet. 
there is that much at stake. So we need to make the labor count. Thank you.